Hey, Prime 6 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. So last week we had a lot of fun with speed and today we're going to speedily move forward again to speed. <laughs> last week's question was a little tricky, so let's do that question first, okay? Um, the answer, for those of you who are waiting for it, the answer is 0 0.48 kilometers per hour. And if you got it right, high five, you are a Math Prodigy. Good job. Now... How do we do this question? Now, if you are if you got the answer wrong, that probably is because of something, some trick we have in here. The first thing you need to understand is the distance. The distance is not 9 times 2 because 9 floors times 2 meters equals to 18 meters. The, that is definitely, like I said, not. So we're going to cross it out, not the answer. Why? The trick is you must understand is the first floor doesn't count. First to the ninth floor there are actually 8 times of 2. So we cut 1, this is 2nd floor, 3rd floor, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, correct? In the middle, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times the distance of 2 meters. And hence, there is actually 8 times 2. So first off, understand that the distance is actually equals to 8 times 2, and that gives you 16 meters. Now it says that the distance between each floor is 2 meters and the, the lift can travel that, that distance in 2 minutes. So the, the speed is distance over time, am I right? So since distance is 16 meters per 2 minutes, but what are they asking for? They are asking for kilometers per hour. So let me erase all these things here. Rewrite the equation in kilometers per hour. 16 meters in 2 minutes, okay, if you want to do it slow and steady, you must make sure that you convert it to per minute. So in other words, if you can cut 16 meters in 2 minutes, you divide it by 2, you have 8 meters per minute, okay, and then from there you can slowly transform it into kilometers per hour. So 8 meters is equals to how many kilometers? That means you have to do 8 meters equals to 8 divided by 1000, okay. Um, eight, sorry, zero point zero zero eight kilometers. So that's the first step. So if you can cover zero point zero eight meters kilometers, sorry, in minutes, in per minute. Now let's just think of this logically. Now most people will make the mistake. So don't make the mistake. I want you to make the correct choice. Most people would say, oh, since it's kilometers per minute, um, it is 160 of an hour. So let's divide this number by 60, which is wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. You should not divide it by 60. What you should do is you must multiply it by 60. Why? Think of it logically. If this thing can move 0 0.08, 0 0.008 kilometers in one minute, in 60 minutes, you just multiply it by 60. Am I right? So, all you have to do is multiply this number by 60, and you will get it as 0 0.48 uh, kilometers per hour, and that is the answer. So, if you got it right, I'm very proud of you, because you are a math prodigy. <laughs> Good job. So, that is one of the trickiest questions you will ever come across in speed. So, do this three times over. Remember, three times over, I don't care if you got it right or you got it wrong do it three times over because when it comes down to it, when the exams come, it will come into your head subconsciously and you will get an A. Alright? So, good job. Now, let's move on to the next question. The next question is also one of those tricky questions in speed which I used to hate in primary 6 because I didn't understand what it meant. But today, I'm going to give you this question again because it's actually pretty simple once I teach it. Okay? So, read the question. Chris and Davis were heading towards each other. So, they were moving towards each other. Chris travelled at a uniform speed of 3 km per hour and David Davis at a speed of 2 km per hour. Both of them started at 3 p.m. Chris completed the distance in 5 hours. What time will they meet each other? There's actually a clue that I can give you. First off, you need to find out the distance, the total distance first, and then you will, will know what time they will meet each other, alright? So, this is Coach Cypher signing off. That's all I have for you today. Oh, by the way, I just forgot. I have the new quote of the week. And the new quote of the week is slow and steady wins the race. I know I talk fast, but I do slow. I take my own time to finish it off, to make sure everything's correct, but that doesn't mean that it's too slow either. But slow and steady, and I'll win the race. Okay? So do the same. This is Coach Cypher signing off. You are a math.
Prodigy. Good job.